Yeah. Well, when we were looking at statistics too of how many jobs need to be replaced every year and it's declining as far as people getting into to trades. Yeah. We're so far in the hole. Like I, I don't remember the numbers, but the study came out and uh, I think just in the U S we're over half a million short of not even the, the number that they need to hire for the year. We're like a half a million short of, the usual hires per year so i mean you're and everybody sees it yeah one of one of the problems is hard work you know i mean kind of got a generation that has grown up on youtube and facebook and all you know and they make money doing videos or something you know and they all want to be youtube stars when the reality we grew up where it's like, shit, you want to make a dollar? Get your ass out there and start freaking shoveling, man. Yeah, we'll work. find you something to do. We're going to have the opportunity to like, you know, and I think people look at that saying, well, I can do that. I can do this or I can make, well, maybe one, you know, a few handful, you know, but is it, what's the long term too of something like that? So I think a lot of that and then it's hard work. I mean, you know, Guys used to grow up, I mean, not to cut on the younger gen, they're kind of soft. You know, when I was younger, I wanted to prove how hard I could swing that hammer, prove how much I could shovel, you know. If someone challenged you, yeah, you can't move that much dirt. Oh, watch me. You know, you kind of had this pride. And I think there's, there's not a lot of pride in that anymore, you know, where that's what we used to, you know, you used, I think you're a little bit more prideful in everything that you did. And now this, the younger people and... I'm not cutting on them, but they're just a little softer, you know. They just don't have that drive or w whatever it was, you know. It's my, you know, but then it, at the same time, we want to make a buck. Y you went out and hustled to make a dollar. You, you had to go clean up a scrap yard. You went and cleaned up that scrap yard, you know, got paid for whatever they paid you for that day or whatever you had to do to make a buck, you know. Yeah, our wages were, what was it, four, <laughs> four $4 bucks an hour or something, yeah, $4 you know? an hour what they would pay us when <laughs> so, we were younger so yeah. I, if i remember getting paid five dollars an hour and that was great money yeah awesome. it's like hell yes and then i went to a to a sugar factory they paid me eight dollars i think mcdonald's was paying four four dollars and 25 cents and the sugar factory paid me eight dollars and 60 cents i mean any 18 year old kids be like i could throw sugar bags 50 pound bags every day that's what i did you know but there's a little bit more pride i mean yeah, I guess you just never steered away from it. I mean, that's how you made your money. You just did whatever you got to do to make a buck. And I don't know, it's just a different thought process today. And that's probably why they're getting it through all the trades, you know, is, is people last for a couple of weeks and like, yeah, let me try something different. You see if there's something a little easier to do or, you know, to me, it's just a little soft, you know. It's not getting better either. So if you, you guys think you got a whole group of, of young people coming up that are going to jump into this they're not no it's getting worse and worse and the numbers are showing it so you can look them up the numbers are showing the heavy decline not just a small decline this is a heavy decline what you're going to have is engineers are going to be forced to find new ways to do things because the labor force isn't out there to continue doing it the way we're doing it you, you're we're declining so pretty soon we will be the dinosaurs. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's going to be forced because nobody's getting into this business. The engineers are going to be forced to find new ways. I guarantee they're looking. They know. They see the numbers. They know what's coming. 